When starting a film restoration project, I generally examine all the media that is uh, going to be used and then decide then my best course of action because I find that every film that I do restoration on always requires different types of work to be uh, done to it. And so, for example, sometimes it might be faded material, sometimes there may be heavy scratches, sometimes if it's very old nitrate-based film, you have shrinkage. And so these things you have to look at. Also, sometimes there's even audio problems, so you have to take into account what has to be done with the soundtrack as well on it. So basically, before I get started, I usually examine all these parameters and then decide where I want to go from this point. And then usually whether we want to do a wet gate scan or whether we actually want to uh, do a digital scan of the material first and then go through and do everything on the digital realm. Some people actually prefer to um, do a wet gate scan of the material and then all they do is they will correct what is not done with the uh, liquid gate then they can go through and digitally restore, for example, taking out scratches and dirt and things like this. Yeah, the best type of monitor to use for this is usually an extremely high resolution monitor. And that's basically why, for example, I'm using the ASUS PA32UCG monitor. And then on the operating system, I turn the resolution all the way up to 4K UHD. And then this way, I end up maybe the, the writing on the uh, user interface is a little bit small, but then I have the maximum resolution for the image that I'm going to be working on. When working on a restoration project, the other thing is you need to judge what needs to be corrected and what needs to not be corrected. So generally as a rule of thumb, um, we go through and find anything that any damage or any imperfections that was recently done to the material. And this stuff is actually what is tackled first. If we find, um, let's say uh, some dust that appeared in the actual original film elements back then, then generally these we usually leave alone. So it's only stuff that has been over the course of time been subjected to the film elements is what we're going to be working on. When color correcting a project, that is being restored, we usually um, want to restore those colors to the actual balance that they had when the film was initially released. And uh, we don't try to inject any special looks or anything like that in it. We just go for this. Also, too, what happens is very often you'll have um, the, if you're working with a print, for example, you'll have a very faded material. And then what we have to do is then try and counteract the faded um, elements that we're dealing with and try and extract the pink and try and push in more color to bring it back to what it was originally supposed to look like. Noise reduction is very much a thing of taste. Um, when I'm doing restoration of projects, I generally do not use any noise reduction because my feeling is the best noise reduction is not to use any noise reduction. And so, for example, we don't want to remove the grain structure of the film. We don't want to smooth it out in any way this way, because this way you're destroying the original composition of the material. So we want to keep it as pristine as possible. And this is why we actually, I usually um, go for no noise reduction during the process. 
Okay, well, thanks for watching. And if you have any specific questions that you'd like me to address in upcoming episodes, uh, please leave it in the comments below. I'd be happy to add those into future episodes. And also, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. And also, um, don't forget to subscribe, too, so you can find out about all the new um, videos that are coming up. Great. Well, thanks a lot, and you have a wonderful evening.